Hello everyone. Uh, today I want to share with you a technique of get getting rid of the color difference in the CoolCam camera. Uh, this photo was shot by Franco Malachi, and uh, it's so kind of him for sending me the the DNG file and uh, the JPEG file. And in the JPEG file, you can see uh, in the CoolCam Studio, uh, no matter how you turn on or off the color correction there will be color difference between the two lenses uh, in fact when you turn off the result will be uh, better uh, than turn on but that's okay uh, no matter you turn on or turn off there is color difference and next I'm gonna show you how to get rid of the color difference in Photoshop uh, in Photoshop uh, first, let's analyze the the photo. Why the color is different uh, from the two lenses? You know, on the front, on the left side, you, the lens was shooting towards the spotlight, which is the sun in, in the sky. So there will be lens flares and will affect on the beach. On the right, uh, the spotlight was behind the, the lens. So in this situation the color will be more accurate than the photo on the left because because there's no strong spotlight in the image so the the beach color we choose eyedropper to you can select the color and the for this in this case the color of uh, with this rgb uh, will be the accurate color of the beach let's go back to the stitch version and one thing we can do is to uh, take the advantage of the layer blending mode so we can make a new layer and select to the blending mode to color and in this color uh, we can recover from the wrong color to the correct color of the beach uh, next, uh, I, I, I would like to make a selection of the select uh, color range, select uh, the beach with appropriate fastness, and click on OK. And go back to the layer 1 with the blending mode of color. Uh, we have a selection with uh, the moving and line. Uh, we can click, click on Ctrl and H to hide these lines and choose the, the bucket, the paint, paint bucket to directly paint on this. And now you can see the before and after, right? The beach will look more natural because we have sampled the correct beach color from the this lens and we recover all the beach from the, the wrong color to the right and next can deselect deselect the range and for the for the for some minor issues we can see that uh, we can even make more of that to make to, to make it more uh, accurate by uh, using the, the painting brush right okay so now it is uh, more natural but on this on this side it should be black so we choose the eraser to uh, get rid of the artifacts by the color blending so by doing this, we are now having an uh, accurate color of the beach. Right? So that's, that's very easy, right? Before and after. Before and after. But uh, be careful, in this situation, uh, oh, there's an artifact. You can turn on the brush and paint, paint to the right color. 
But be, uh, we should watch out in this image because uh, on the stitching line, there is uh, often there will be the color difference, uh, and uh, there might be color variation in the sky. If you look closer at this line, you can see uh, there is a, a stitching line is with the, a little bit color difference uh, around the stitching line. So you can blend the merge these layers and uh, use the patch tool. First make a little bit selection uh, around the, the stitching line and uh, use a patch to patch this area for a better looking in at post. And in, in the latest version of Photoshop, we can even uh, view the photo interactively by adding a, a duplicate layers and choose 3D spherical panorama and the new panorama layer from selected. We look at the sky, right? Look at the sky, you can see the lens flares was cut off by the stitching line. So why not get rid of that by making a new layers by select select and uh, select this area directly use a uh, patch. No, sorry. Oops. We should make a, a bigger selection for more content. Control and J to, to add a new layer and make selection of this and get rid of that. For this. So now this will be lo will look more natural in the final result. Right? So you can see the before and after, right? And uh, and you can merge down. So we can merge the layer into the 3D layers. And now uh, when viewing interactively in the Photoshop, uh, you can see this photo will be oh yeah, you can see there is a a small color variance in these areas. If you look closer, look at this. Uh, on the left, there will be more agenda. On the right, there will be more blue. So we can use the same uh, with the, the patch tool. Uh, we can use the clone stamp tool, but with a mode of color. A sample the current layer only. And by painting that, we can get rid of the color difference because we are only correct the colors. Okay, you can see before and after, right? There is a little bit color different in the, on the on the stitching line. Now we have corrected with Photoshop, and we merge down. Now the every color difference is corrected in the Photoshop. Oh yeah, so now this photo looks much better than the original one by correcting some uh, color issues. And this is an excellent shot uh, on the beach. And we're looking down, you can see there's no photographer and their shadows. I like this photo very much. And the Franco Malachi have already uh, did a lot to this photo to make it more appealing to the audience. Now by applying my tricks, you finally will recover the beach to the accurate color, right? So next you double click on the spherical map. Photoshop will generate a rectangular image for you and you duplicate back into the, the JPEG files. And you delete these interactive layers and merge down directly to the background and save. You can overwrite the previous image. Right? And now in this photo, you can see, you already see the before and after comparison, right? And on the left is the before, on the right is after. And uh, there's some minor issues. 
the 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 picture on the left will look more、uh, saturated and more vivid. But the picture on the right, especially the 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 green color, right, is not that good compared to the left. That's because in this photo, the color profile is untagged. So if you want to correct this issue, you can click on the Photoshop again and image, edit, assign profile. You can assign the Adobe RGB profile to this shot. And now all the sRGB.、Uh, normally, I will like to assign the Adobe RGB.、Uh, if you are,、uh, if you are、uh, in the Adobe Camera Raw, you are developing the photo with the Adobe RGB profile, and we recover the color profile. You can recover a more vivid looking of your photo. But that's as the that's not. The the part of today's introduction,、uh, we have already get rid of the colors, color difference, and this is how I did it. You can see the final result. the The beach is perfect, and that's all for today's trick. And I hope you can learn from the video. And thanks again for Franco Melody. Providing me this amazing shot, I hope everyone will learn how to get rid of the color difference in Photoshop. And thanks.